9.5 Fundamental Counting Principle. The fundamental count, counting principle states that you can use multiplication instead of making a tree diagram to find the number of possible outcomes in a sample space. So if you remember a couple days ago we were trying to figure out all the different ways that you could um, flip a coin and roll a number cube. And I made you roll out, or I made you ro roll out, I made you write out all the different options so you could flip ahead, roll a one, flip ahead, roll a two. Now we're learning how to do this mathematically. So you look at a coin. How many options are there on a coin? There's heads or tails. So that's two options. And on a number cube, there are six options because there are six sides. So you do two times six, and your, op your total is 12 outcomes. So if you think about it, that's heads one, heads two, tail one, tail two, and so on. Find the total number of outcomes when a number from zero to nine is picked randomly, and then when a letter from A to D is picked randomly. So from the in the numbers zero to nine, there are ten numbers. In the letters A to D, there are four. So that is forty outcomes that are possible. 2A, find the number of outcomes, find the total number of outcomes from rolling a number cube with sides labeled 1 through 6 and choosing the letter, choosing a letter from the word numbers. So the first thing we're doing is find the outcome. So 1 through 6, there are 6 options. And, and the letter, and the word numbers, there are 7 letters, which is 42 total possibilities. Then find the probability of rolling a 6 and choosing an M. There's only one um, outcome that would result in a 6 and an M together. So your probability of getting a 6 and an M is 1 42nd. You circle it and that's your answer. A pizzeria has two different types of crust, three types of cheeses, and four toppings. So we're going to first find the probability of how many different types, or how find the total number of outcomes. So there are two types of crust, three types of cheese, and four types of toppings. So two times three is six. Six times four is 24. A personal pizza can only have one topping, one type of cheese and one topping. What is the probability of choosing a thin crust pizza with Parmesan and pepperoni? So there would only be one combo of that. So you would do one, 24, circle it, and that's your answer. A shoe store sells sneakers, loafers, and boots. So that's three different types of shoes. And narrow, medium, and wide widths. So three different um, widths available. They're available in sizes 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5, 10, 10.5. That's 10 different sizes. Find the number of pairs of shoes available. So you take 3 times 3 times 10. 3 times 3 is 9 times 10, so there are 90 different pairs of shoes available. Then find the probability of selecting a size 8 in medium width sneakers. Is it likely or unlikely that the size would be chosen? So, there would only be one combo, so it would be 190th. And is that likely or unlikely to happen? That is pretty unlikely for that shoe to be bought on the first pick. For A, a box of toy cars contains blue, orange, yellow, red, and black cars. So that's five different colors of cars. A separate box contains a male and female action figure. So that's two different um, genders of action figures. What is the probability of randomly choosing an orange car and a female action figure? Is it unlikely or likely that this combination is chosen? So again, there would only be one of these combos. So you'd get one tenth. And that is unlikely. So you'd circle it and that's your answer.